Welcome to another unit in this SQL course. And last time we talked about how we can link three tables together with an inner join so that in the end we get an output like this. So more or less for each of our orders we now have the information via the product code. What's the name of the product? What are the costs which we can combine with the information from the orders of the quantity to calculate our subtotals. Then we are also linking the sales representative referred to with the number here to its or his her employee ID so that we get information on their name. That's well the result here. So for each part of our order we know the person who is responsible for each of the different positions. However, what we do not yet know, how much money in total did they make? So I do not know for this person how much did he make, how much did she make and so forth. And this would be especially important if I have more than just one order. If I have more orders for which those people are responsible. So I want to have like a sum for each of these persons. So what can I do? Well, mostly I'm combining what I know from an earlier session with one new feature. The new feature I'm going to add in this case is the so-called group by part. And that's what is telling SQL which are they actually going to summarize into one group. Here we're going to go and do this with first names, last names. So it's e dot oops, first name and e dot last name. What should be summarized is this part here. That's the subtotal. So I'm going to go and say, well, I want to sum this up for each person. So I'm going to put a sum around the whole calculation part. The only problem with this is if he wants to sum this up, well, I could get the information for the names because that's what I'm working with. But it will be pretty hard to report still the product names if I summed up all the products. So if I want to run this, I will get the problem that, well, first off, yes, uh, doesn't work with the order ID, doesn't work with the product name, doesn't work with the quantity. So those parts I have to erase here because they cannot sensibly be summed up for each of those names. Well, if I save this reduced version, click on run, I actually got here what I wanted to have. I have the subtotal, subtotal in this case as in what they made in total for each of the orders. Or in general, if there would be more orders, there would be still only each person listed only once with everything they made on all the orders summarized together or summed up together. And well, I could then also replace the subtotal, more or less the sum I calculate here, with the average, with AVG, or with the count, meaning how much positions did they actually sell. That would be count and then the round brackets. Well, that's more or less everything I wanted to do here. We might want to add one last point. I could go and insert the order by part here as well. I would go then with the last name part so that they're also ordered in ascending fashion which would make this look a bit nicer. However, well, we could also then replace this with something else. For example, order them by how much they made, 
or in an earlier session we also discussed that if we just replace select with select top two or top three, that's the best ones we have regarding certain criteria. And well, that's then everything for this unit. I hope you enjoyed it. I say goodbye and see you next time.